Thank you for joining us on the great and scenic Mississippi River. Today you will travel back in history to the time when European settlers first arrived in this area. Prior to their arrival, this area was home to the Dakota Indian Nation. When the Europeans arrived starting in the 1600s, all the land you see on the right side of the boat later became part of the Northwest Territory, and everything on the left was claimed by France. The entire area became part of America in 1803. The Coast Guard requires that we inform you as to the location of the safety of the Life vessel located. So now settle back and enjoy your cruise on the mighty Mississippi River. Why well, here alone? I didn't think they were on the river. As we depart the downtown area and head up river on the right side of Starboard toward the back of the boat is the St. Paul Cathedral. It is located on the highest point in St. Paul and has a commanding presence in the city skyline. Construction began in 1906 and the first mass was celebrated on Palm Sunday in 1915. The cathedral is 306 feet high and has a seating capacity of approximately 3,000. Explorers would stop at Fountain Cave to fill their canteens some with water. But the cave had an occupant, a very strange occupant. It was a rather disheveled fellow with one squinty pig-like eye. He was referred to as Pig's Eye. Pig's Eye. It's a big one. Oh, 
you to put your feet inside here. Yeah, you know, inside the railing. I just don't want you to fall, that's all. Perfect, you guys are being great. We ride all the way down to New Orleans. Yeah. <laughs> get some I think your parents would be so happy about that. New Orleans? Uh, well, I know the guys who leave these little boats down there. It's like uh, seven or eight days, maybe? Yeah. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Thank you. 